Jay, Holmes and Amy Robach's exes are having the last laugh, as unlikely couples romance heats up months after their divorces, and ex-GMA hosts struggle to keep podcast figures up and squabbles down. This time last year Amy Robach and TJ, Holmes were wallowing in the aftermath of a sex scandal that ended their marriages and threatened their careers. What a difference a year makes. Clearly in love, their fortunes on the rise. Dot, 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 wait, no, it's not Robach and Holmes, it's their exes. Marilee Fiebig, 45, and Andrew Shu, 56, have moved on and traded up, ditching their roles as collateral damage in the Amy and TJ. Show in favor of taking the lead in their own love story. It's a plot twist that none could have predicted. Just last week the loved-up couple were pictured out in Manhattan, enjoying a romantic date night. Phoebig looked chic bundled up against the crisp night air as she snuggled into her handsome, and very rich, new beau. They are walking proof that the best revenge is a life well lived. While Holmes, 46, and Robach, 50, are fighting a losing battle for the public's interest, Phoebig and Shu have, according to those close to them, seamlessly become bigger than the affair and stronger than ever. They're connected, friends say, on their values. While Holmes is worth an estimated $3 million, she was worth a staggering $20 million. Some of that wealth was accrued during his years on hit TV shows such as Melrose Place, but the bulk of his wealth comes from his role as an internet entrepreneur turned private equity investor. And while Robach co-hosts a podcast that's tanking, Phoebig is not only a successful attorney she is the first chief diversity officer for Save the Children. Sources claim that former GMA3 co-hosts Robach and Holmes were furious when news of their ex's relationship broke on the day the Amy and TJ podcast launched on iHeart. Their intention in starting the show was to be fully transparent about the relationships they concealed for so long. But after barely three months their bickering and defensive vibe is clearly leaving listeners cold. We have fought for love, and I am 100% happier, Robach claimed on air a few weeks ago. She added, hey we're doing great. The same cannot be said for their listening figures. Writer and comedian Meredith Lynch, with 274,000 TikTok followers, summed up the mood in a post in which she accused the pair of working overtime to get people to care about their relationship when the bottom line is they're not that interesting. And they're doing a show that's not that interesting. When they launched December 5th, they charted at number 5 but by the start of the year they had slumped to 234 in the charts. An episode charting Robach and Holmes's problematic drinking, 18 drinks a day, accounting for heavy pours for him and 15 to 20 drinks a week for her, saw that figure spike at 136. Now, latest figures show they have slipped back below the 200 mark. And while sources say that Phoebig and Shu are fully committed to each other, Holmes and Robach are still tiptoeing around where their relationship is headed. One of their most recent episodes, aptly titled, Flipping the Story Turning Tables, saw Holmes interview Robach. Does it matter publicly if we get married? He asked her. She replied, I think people are always rooting for love and in this culture that usually ends in a wedding yes. Only the tables have indeed turned and now it's not Holmes and Robach people are rooting for. It's their exes. Shu and Phoebe's unlikely romance first came to light late last year, with reports that they had begun dating seven months prior after bonding over the traumatic experience of their very public messy breakups. Robach, 50, was reportedly livid at the timing of the news, accusing her ex of trying to steal her thunder, sources told Page Six at the time. She also appeared to throw some shade at Shu in a January 2nd episode when she said she had learned that you don't really know someone until you divorce them. But Phoebig, an attorney, and Shu, best known for his role as Billy Campbell in 90 Seconds soap opera Melrose Place, have been carrying on happily with their romance since and even appear to be living the high life. In their second public appearance since news of their relationship broke, the two were spotted last week wheeling their suitcases through JFK Airport together before jetting out of New York City. Phoebig's divorce with Holmes was reportedly settled in October, while Shu and Robach finalized their split in March.